Cambridge is in the northwestern part of Prentiss County. It is located between the Republican River and Medicine Creek. The first settler on the land now known as Cambridge was Herman Dewing. He came in 1871 and built the first cabin. He named the place Northwood. In 1874, a post office was named Medicine Creek. The whole post office was kept in a cigar box. They only made 31 cents in the first three months. In 1876, Ryan, during the first settle, sold his land to J.W. Pickle for $700. This was a lot of money for 1876. He planned the future of the town and named it Pickleville. In 1888, Mr. Pickle and his family moved onto the land. He built a dam and used the water for power to run a saw, mill, and stone for grinding corn. and the name was changed to Cambridge. It was named after the famous town Cambridge, England. In 1885, Cambridge had over 200 people living in it. In 1878 to 1879, there was a diphtheria epidemic. There was no cemetery so the dead were buried near their homes. On May 3rd, 1880, a man named Anderson came through Cambridge in a covered wagon. He stopped at the home of W.E. Slaughter. Anderson became sick and died. He was buried on a hill north of the house. He was the first person buried in the Cemetery. His grave is near the center of the cemetery. A lake called Lake Lavana used to be where our golf course is now. The lake was part of the park. People in 1889 loved to ice skate on the lake. Lake Lavano also had a steamboat that held as many as 71 passengers at a time. Sometimes they held dances on the boat. The steam engine ran two side paddle wheels, which took the boat on a trip around the lake in 17 minutes. The first brick schoolhouse was built in 1888. Before this, they had a log schoolhouse with a dirt floor. Many churches were built during the 1880s. Now we have five churches, including the Catholic and the Lutheran Church. A replica of the Statue of Liberty used to stand in the middle of the intersection of Patterson Street and Highway 6 and 34. It was destroyed in the flood of 1935. Cambridge Swimming Pool was built in 1933. It was one of the best pools in Nebraska. On July 4th, 1934, it was estimated that 1,600 people went swimming. The pool was fully remodeled in 1972. Cambridge has had two really bad floods. The first was in 1935. It came at 6 o'clock p.m. 
Without much warning, many people were stuck overnight on the roofs. Carla Breaker was at home with her family. She later wrote, Bill and Richard brought our Jersey cow up on the front porch, hoping it would be high enough to keep her from drowning, but she hopelessly floated away. Many people and animals died from this flood. The other flood came in 1947. Thirteen people died and it destroyed many homes and businesses. A dam was completed to stop the floods. This dam formed the Harry Strunk Lake. In 1950, the old mill was torn down because of the damage from the flood. After 1950s, Cambridge had many businesses, including variety stores, grocery stores, beauty salons, a bakery, bowling alley, and lumber company. Cambridge celebrated its 100th birthday in 1974. Cambridge now has 1,041 people and is growing. The Mosel brothers raised Hereford cattle. One bull they sold in 1920 went for $22,000. Also, they can tour the museum, visit McKinley Park, or go boating at the Harris Drunk Lake. It's hard to imagine what life was like 136 years ago when Cambridge first started. Cambridge has seen early pioneers, Indian scares, sickness, drought, prairie fires, and flood. But it has also seen people working hard to make our town a great place to live. 